Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I have a very cool tip to share with you today. I learned this tip while I was out on the road sharing cool tips from somebody who prefers to remain anonymous. But just so you know, if you ever share a cool tip with me that I use in my video, I will give you full credit because that's the way I roll. <laughs> now, this is such a cool tip. You're going to want to tell all of your CAD friends. In fact, you're probably going to want to share it over dinner. Okay, maybe not that. That sounds terribly boring. But anyway, this tip allows you to zoom in on an object very, very quickly. You don't have to use the zoom command. You don't have to mess around with the wheel on your mouse. It is awesome. How they figured this out, I have no idea what was going on for them to find this out. But I'm going to share this with you. It's great. All right, so very handy and complicated drawings like this. I don't want to mess around with zoom windows. I just want to go, go, go. It's all about speed, man. All right, so first off, you're going to have to have the view cube in your display, all right? And we're not, we're not working in 3D. We're gonna be using the view cube here, even though we're just working in 2D. So I'm gonna to go to the view tab on the ribbon, and you can click on view cube. That's one way to do it. Here's the view cube over here, all right? Normally we just think of using it in 3D, but we're gonna use it in 2D. Or you can click on the dash, in the in canvas viewport controls, that's the way I normally do it because it took me so long to just learn how to say in canvas viewport controls. And you'll also see an option for view cube there. Whatever you prefer. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it too. But those are two speedy ways to get that handy view cube on the screen, which you probably don't use if you work in just 2D, right? All right, so I wanna zoom in on the word drive right here, for example. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the word drive and then I'm going to click on top on the view cube and check this out. What? It zoomed in on the word drive. All right. It kind of does this wonky flash right in the middle there. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but hey, it gets the job done, doesn't it? All right. Let's see what. Let's, let's try this again. I'm going to hit the escape key to de-highlight drive. Let's zoom in on this right here. Let's click on that. Click on top. Check it out. It zooms in on it. it does this crazy flash in there, but that's okay. It zooms in on that object very, very quickly, and you can select multiple objects if you want to, that's up to you. All right, let's see how I like that. Let's zoom back out, let's do it one more time because it's so much fun, let's zoom back out. I wanna zoom in on this right here. Click on that, click on top on the view cube, hold on, flash, and then it zooms in. All right, now, it could just be my display drivers that's causing that to happen. It may not happen to you, but once again, it gets the job done, we don't care, it happens very, very quickly and efficiently, and I love that. And guess what? This works inside of viewports too, as long as the viewport isn't locked, okay? All right, works in model space, inside the viewport, once again, as long as it isn't locked. Come on, how cool is that? And once again, how did they ever figure that out? But that's cool. Impress your friends. All right, so once again, that tip is from Mr. Anonymous. You think he'll let me call him a non for short? It could happen. <laughs> I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks for another cool AutoCAD tip. Thank you for joining me.